Hey everybody, this is your boy Koo Impact with a new Let's Play in our second Let's Play in the double screening uh, block. It is a LP of a game. Oh, you've noticed the borders have changed. Well, they're going to change with every game, as I've stated. This is a game that has got an interesting, weird history to it. I would say things are about to get really strange. Catch my drift. The game would like to boot, please. Uh, a Moby Clip Video Codex again? Again? Every DS game we play. Cosmic Debris is the publishers of the original. Conspiracy Entertainment is the publishers of the now. Uh, Young Entertainment is kind of the people who are in the line of the merch, I think. And then it was a game by made, you know, by Exort Games. A little ditty by the name of Emily the Strange. Uh, also tagline strangerous um, it, Some people might know who Emily the strange is I'm not gonna doubt that the power of the internet exists. Uh, I know I have some personal experience by That I mean like years ago when Ku impact wasn't as old as he is now uh, Back when he was a what we call a youngling in high school uh, Actually middle school when I think about it uh Somewhere around the original things. Uh, let's just say Quimpak went through a phase and he thought, hey, you know, get a goth girlfriend because that's what everybody online told you to do back in the day in your dialogue online. Um, so cool thing about this, and by cool thing about this, I mean this is a DSiWare game. The bad thing is we do not have the DSiWare. Um, I don't know if this is important. I don't know if this auto plays if I click start game, but there's Emily herself, Emily the Str titular strange, and she has four cats. And each one of these cats has a special eyeball power. So I put the I put the little I put the cats on the border because you know we're cats. It's cat town, it's cats. Spent more time tiling the background than actually like doing the borders, but that, that's neither here nor there. It fits the color scheme. It fits the it fits the style. It's a very strange border, you know. It fit the game concept. Let let's begin. Let's begin. So what it looks like is her cats get kidnapped. Uh, I want a new game, please. To so overwrite your existing save game, the next time you save, do you want to continue? The text doesn't even fit in the box. Now the cool thing is also I keep saying the cool thing is, but the real cool thing is is I made a save state on a game that is without the final things done in the game of course but everything up to that point perfect in it through cheating i'm not gonna do the cheating like through this one what we want to do oh no 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 i i moved it i moved it i moved the borders please i'm always doing that emily forgive me i don't know what i did but hopefully that fixed it looks to be good enough do it i always have my mouth oh so it does play this cutscene anyway so this is where the moby clip comes in there's not really many uh there's no 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 text i mean no thing that isn't text there, there's no voice acting this time that's some cats that definitely got yeeted that's some pink footsteps and definitely a mysterious person with a big head Emily, it's almost like you live a strange life in a strange land filled with strange people. Strange Naifu and your Laifu. As they all say, life be strange. Wake up, sleepyhead. I'll show you how to get along in strange land. First, touch the touchscreen with your stylus and make this text. Uh, I touched the wrong touchscreen again. Confused like normal. A uh, zero puzzle song. This is a puzzle game. Yes, this is a puzzle game. Actually, like Professor Layton. Yeah, touch screen only controls again, by the way. <laughs> Except, actually, some of the buttons do do functionality things in this game, like open the menu and kinds of stuff like that. We got zero points. Uh, we got zero of these. We got zero chips. Four cats in cages. Emily's got zero puzzles solved, and we need to walk to the chair. That is our current objective. Walk, you, you 
use the stylus on the touch screen. Like this. Emily will walk around in a vague understanding. You can hold it down and she'll we'll do this. It's, it's pretty great. Hey, look, that, that, that skateboard was blinging. Maybe we can pick it up. Put them in the tutorial so it won't let me pick up anything. Emily walks, uh, walks around pretty slowly. I'll admit that much. Quimpact admits that much. Emily doesn't walk that fast. She's just gonna chill on her chair because life is strange. Oh, you know we're gonna make tons of life is strange jokes. We're, we're gonna have all the jokes. You know I'm gonna always talk about this. You, you know what's gonna happen. It's not like I wasn't doing anything at this point. Uh, thank you for the information added to my scrapbook game, but you know. I don't have no cats. Zero and zero cats here. Okay, see, it's the stickers that I'm... It's like I really don't want to collect the stickers because it requires you to perfect all the puzzles to get one, one of them. And uh, I already did that with cheating, so, you know. Uh, I know. L let, let's go. I checked out my room. Odd how you how, how does Emily sound? Has she ever been voiced? I don't know. See, I remember Emily being a graphic novel series with a merch line, like a clothing line. Because I remember seeing Emily the Strange, like pins, jackets, hoodies. Uh, they got a goddamn umbrella that looks like the freaking cat head, and it terrifies me every time I think about it. But yes. Checked out my room. Odd how even the most familiar things can be weird at times. I mean strange, of course. And that's the only entry we have, for the time being, of course. I'll probably read all the entries towards the end. What is this? Here you'll find all the information about the different cats. What they're like, what they like, and most importantly, what they can do for you. So here's our four cats. We got one eye, which is Miles. Miles is a creative genius and has perfect night vision. He's able to see black and white inversely. Absolutely fastest cat in town. And he knows how to put a plan into action. Big time. That's how he lost his eye. Um, then we have Mystery. Uh, Mystery is the leader. Uh, I know, I'm not reading the first part. Mystery is the leader of the pack and Emily's most senior cat. She is the hint giver for Emily. Ask her pretty please and she'll provide tips and explain mysteries. So she's your puzzle hint cat. This is uh, Nietzsche, because uh, we're going we're gonna to be very, you know, goth, meta, nihilist, all kinds of philo philosophical like this. He's the schemer and thinker of the posse, an absolute nihilist. I, j I just got done saying that. It's part of the culture. So if you're not part of the goth culture, you need to go leave the room, get, get yourself cultured, and maybe just stop the video here because you're not going to understand. Now, Coup Impact, he understands. He has gone through a phase. It's definitely part of the reason that I was kicked out of the house at 16. He can see right through a lot of things. He's also the only one who can perceive tracks of the abductor. He said, oh, I can't see those pink things without him. That's basically the line. There's Sabbath. Sabbath is the youngest member of the posse. He's a rebel and never runs from a fight. Because of his ferocity, he can scare away some creatures just by being his menacing self. So he's the guy who goes and fights the enemies. Because you know what? Emily can't fight. Emily don't do the fight. I think she's a pacifist in the canon. It's been a long time since I've seen the graphic novels. Give Ku a break. But you don't know anything about it. That's the tutorial thing. Here's where we can replay puzzles and shit. But we haven't done any puzzles. So we have no puzzles to play. And this will be our sticker book, which we get through like achievements and... We don't got none of those either. But it's okay, I have a save state that I must remember not to save state over. Because that save state contains, I believe, all of the stickers. Except for the one that you get towards the end of the game. And that one doesn't need to be thrown off anyway. What's this? Lunchbox. Here you'll find descriptions of all the mad and wonderful things that you'll collect. Too bad I've got nothing. This is a point and click adventure after all, but it's also a puzzle game. And this is the tutorial. Uh, yeah, it wants me to go through the tutorial book, but I'm not going to do that. That's not happening. And here's the options. I do like the red swirling. It reminds me of Persona 5. 
I do like the red swirling nature of things. That's why I uh, went with the filigree's background that I grew up to tile. And it tiles well this way. I feel like it makes the best shapes this way. You know, redrawing the tile over and over again. Real fun stuff. Now we finally get to play this game. Well done. Now you learn to move. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Quimpat gets it. Him and, the, him and the boys need to, you know, do some stuff. This is the DSI room. But it's locked. But even then, if it wasn't unlocked, like, even if it was unlocked. Oh, we gotta walk to the front door. So, like, Emily really doesn't want to interact. And, oh, no, she'll interact with that. All right, how cool. Now I can skateboard. Yeah, yeah. I know what kind of girl you are. Great, excellent. Hey, front door. Objective front door. I need Nietzsche to open it. Nietzsche, Nietzsche, come out. Let's go to the treehouse, Nietzsche. Oh no. He's just realizing there's no cats. How the hell could a crazy cat lady not see there's no cats? You got no cats here. Touch objects in the room to find cats. Well, okay, yeah, sure, I'll do that. Let's go. Wait, I touched this? No. The picture does nothing. So by the way, once we unlock some cats, there'll be some cat powers up here, and then we have a box to carry your items in. Because you're going to pick up a whole bunch of items, all right. Can I, can I operate this? What, what can I operate? I click stuff in the room. Oh, no, move over to the bed. Ah, the objectives in this game sometimes obtuse. Uh, the text moves so slow in this game. Who's just gonna skip it? You can see we'll read some of the parts. I'll probably more react to her text than read her text. I like how it's raining, but th that that soon doesn't matter. What crummy weather. Oh yeah, you know. Look around the bookshelf. Okay, sure, let's look at the bookshelf. Uh, yeah, only why not? This isn't getting, you know, weird. <laughs> what? You just rolled that ball of yarn down the bookshelf. Can you do that again, please? The desk. Why, why search the desk? Why would a cat be in a desk? Only the fireplace you walk past like six times and didn't see them, Emily. Emily! Well, it's fire. I, I, they'd be dead. Oh, yes it was. It was totally not a premonition, premonition dream. Better check if Big Sister has rec recorded anything on the odd I see. I need an odd an, an oddet. An oddet? Is, is that what we're doing here? Need one of the desks. Okay, well let's go touch the desk. We're still in Tutorial Town, which sucks. Meaning we're on railroad, not adventure. In your pocket now. Open the menu and tap on the inventory to check it out. Go into the pocket. This is what we have in our inventory. There's the skateboard. And there's the oddettes. They, they're potato chips. Without the potato chips, you can't run the odd IC, which is their computer. It is Emily's computer, yes. Very aware of what I need to do, game. But I don't think I have a ton of time to do it. Let's operate the odd IC real fast. Which is this computer over here. Okay, so basically, the description of the puzzles on the top screen, usually, uh, you know, maximum amount of points in your current ones, depending on how many times you fail, puzzle pieces, you can get hints, you know, or the objectives, you can just leave the puzzle, you can restart it, you can use the scribbler, you can use the eraser. It's like any kind of draw pad, really, let's be honest. And then you can confirm with that.
Dotty dots, our first puzzle. Connect the red dots. I don't even remember if this is actually the way to connect them. That doesn't seem right. Let me be real with you. That does not seem right. But do I do I care about my score? I'm at the end of my video rope. Let's see if it was right. Nope. <laughs> Which is fine because we're not going for perfect score. Total score is zero. But now I'm at Odette, so I have to do that again. We'll do that again next time. As you can see, while well, I was just fooling around, I kind of knew that's not how you were supposed to solve it. But I wanted to show you what I meant when I said points puzzles and all that kind of stuff so this has been quimpack with let's play emily the strange strangerous don't forget to subscribe rate and comment next time we're gonna play connect the dots and we're gonna form a picture out of the dots just using our brains now you gotta remember quimpack is famous for having no brains at all so this game's gonna get interesting as the puzzles game got one. <laughs> see you guys all next time